Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to hardwire all your BT discs. Now in this video, I'm showing you the BT whole home disc, but the same thing actually applies for the black BT mesh discs. Now the difference between them is whole home Wi-Fi is it plugs into any router, whatever. So if you have whole home Wi-Fi, as you will know, this, this is our main disc. Your main disc has to be connected through Ethernet and be connected back to your router. Now this is BT Smart 2. Now if you have the black BT discs, then the same thing works, but obviously you don't have to have one plugged in next to your router. Well, obviously ours isn't next to it, but you know what I mean. Have a cable plugged in from your router, but you can. Now basically, we have this main one here. Then in sunroom, we have one here. And then if I go upstairs, we also have one on the landing. Now obviously these work as a mesh network and we have the app on our phone to show us all the things. So living room, that's the one here which is etherneted in. And we go to disk details as you see, ethernet. But landing, it says five gigahertz, which means it's on Wi-Fi. And then the sunroom, which is also on Wi-Fi. But they don't have to be on Wi-Fi. You could Ethernet them in. Now, obviously, you go, say I'm here, so I'm connected to the living room, one device, that'll be me. And then as I move over there, onto the other end of the house, it will connect me to the sunroom. And then if I go upstairs, it'll connect me to the landing. Now these do actually work quite well, but what you can do is you can put the other discs on Ethernet. Now I'm not sure if this cable is gonna reach, but we're gonna try it anyway. All the ports on our router are used. I'm just gonna unplug the telly since that's not actually on or doing anything. And I'll plug this cable into it. Now obviously you wouldn't wanna do it how I'm doing it and just have a big cable running across your kitchen. You just get the other end of your ethernet cable plug it into the back of the other disc and boom just like that it should start working now obviously you don't want to do it how i've done it you don't want to have this cable just running across in the way of your door this is much better if you actually have ethernet run in your house or use a power line adapter but now if i go to sunroom Go to disk details, now it says Ethernet as well. But the living room is still on Ethernet. So now it's just got an Ethernet backhaul. So the video earlier cut off, but basically what I was saying was, it's if, say you have like another disk plugged into Ethernet, two disks plugged into Ethernet, if the Ethernet gets unplugged on one of them, then it will just take a minute, it will disconnect, and then it will reconnect to the main disk. Or even say, if you had the second disc, say I had that one in the sunroom power, uh, plugged into Ethernet. But if that disc in the front room, even though it's in the same room as the router safe, that got unplugged from Ethernet, the other one would still be on Ethernet, so it'd still work. So with it on wireless, obviously this has got nothing in it. So if the Ethernet from the one in the front room got unplugged, then this would stop working as well. Or even if the one in the front room got powered off, this one would stop working. But if this one's on Ethernet as well, the, anything, no matter what happens to the front room one, as long as this one's still plugged into Ethernet, then this one will still work. So here, basically the second example I'm going to show is, well, the sunroom one. I'll show you here the sunroom one. So you unplugged it earlier, and now it's back on 5 gigahertz. Didn't take long at all. Now this one, obviously I cannot get a cable up here, and this is another good solution. Power line adapter. I have a video dedicated to this power line adapter. If you want to go watch it, it's a gigabit power line adapter. I mean, if you don't know what a power line adapter is, it basically another one of these is plugged in next to the router. An Ethernet cable from the router goes into the power line adapter, and it basically sends Ethernet through the electricity lines in your house. So this is basically acting like a Ethernet port. So here's a landing disc on the app. Go disc details. Five gigahertz. Now obviously you can see that right there means it's connected to the other power line adapter. Let's get the other end of this Ethernet cable. Plug it in. Now 
just refresh the app. And now you can see. And now you can see it's on Ethernet. Now another thing I want to show you is if I go to my BT hub, you can see all the devices connected. Ethernet pot one's that. Now, there you go. Now this one, this is where the BT discs. This is where the BT disc is plugged in. So one of these BT discs will be the main one that's plugged into the router, and another one will be the sunroom one, which is wirelessly connected to it at the minute. Now Ethernet three, right, Ethernet four. There you go. That's the other one. So obviously this, this power line adapter, the other one is plugged into port four. So this shows up as on port four and then any device that connects to this will also show up on port four. Then say if I unplug the Ethernet on this, it will connect back to the one downstairs and it will show up again back onto port two. So, I'll sort of show you on this one now how long it takes for it to connect back. So, I'll unplug the Ethernet here. You can now see it stops working. It stays red. And then it goes back to blue. Oh, it's flashing. But yeah. Now it's just connecting back to the main disc downstairs. taking longer than I thought actually. Oh, but yep, now it's connected. So I'll go to the landing. And as you can see, now it's back on five gigahertz. And if I refresh the hub, as you can see, now e now back on the hub manager, now each three discs show up on port two, because the main disc downstairs is plugged into port two. Then this disc is wirelessly connecting back to that disc and so is the disc in the sunroom. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys found it helpful and I hope you come back for another video. Bye.